Hey everybody, thanks for coming to watch. I've got an update for you guys on the Pacific right now. So we do have major hurricane uh, Dora right now. It's forecasted to uh, become a Category 4 hurricane. So this is a very, very big deal, even though it isn't supposed to hit any land. Um, but we see where it is now. It is really, really intensifying at the moment. It is a Category 2 hurricane with a wind winds at 110 miles an hour. Look at this. 976 millibar low pressure storm this is very very intense and organized storm um it's going to be moving over some cooler water so it after it gets to pretty much right here category four strength it will finally start uh decreasing in strength but it is forecast to become a category four hurricane as you can see here with winds of 130 miles per hour um but you know hopefully you know luckily this isn't going to hit any land but hopefully it's not you know going to stay uh, as a category four hurricane long because then it would have more time to get closer and closer to floor uh to hawaii um could we go throughout the rest of its track it's kind of weird it's one straight line um we go kind of close to uh hawaii which um i believe i don't even know can't even find Hawaii. Uh, oh, here it is. Hawaii's up here. So, it's looking like it's going to pass south through Hawaii. Maybe it'll hit the U.S. minor outlying islands, uh, Kar uh, Kiribati. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, but yeah, it's it's just it's very, it's a huge deal to see a hurricane this strong. And I just wanted to point it out that it's about to become a Category Four hurricane. So you're probably going to wake up tomorrow and you're going to. Uh, know this storm as Category 4 Hurricane uh, um, Dora. So, you know, right now, this was, well, this was actually pretty much, this was just uh, 20 minutes ago. Uh, it was just about here. So, it's looking like it's, right now, it's, it's, uh, it's literally, right now as I'm speaking, it's about to uh, really just get going and strengthen the dealer Category 4 Hurricane. So, overnight, it'll become category four but it is not supposed to hurt or harm any people um but yeah this is one of those tropical waves off the uh coast of um central america that's really been just all these waves have really been producing these storms and it's la nina uh, el nino has really been also paying uh you know it's pay, making it it's playing a huge role in the reason why we're seeing so much activity out here in the Pacific. It's really early in the season, and we're still seeing a lot, a lot of activity out here. We already have, uh, I believe, three major, well, uh, Dora would be the third major hurricane of the uh, Pacific hurricane season, so very interesting to see that. But all these tropical waves, they start out, uh, they take their time, you know, tropical disturbances. Look at this, it takes... This was all the way back into July 29th. This took, you know, five days to get to, not five days, but, you know, this took a few days, several days to get up to tr tropical storm strength. But, you know, once it gets to that strength and it gets to those warm waters out there, um, that's when it starts ramping up and just gets going. And so, you know, luckily, not most of them haven't been harming anybody, but there are a few that will actually scrape across the uh mexican coastline um so you know if that happens again this this year then just watch out for that if you're anywhere in uh this area right here of uh, uh i guess this would be western mexico but you know maybe we'll even see a storm try and get to uh all the way up to southern california it's it's gonna be a lot it's it, that would be a weird storm but it's quite it's definitely possible so We'll continue watching Dora um, as it's very, very uh, interesting to see how, you know, it's 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 getting this strong. Um, but we're going to be moving on to our sea surface temperatures. This is just going to be a little, uh, you know, few minute up update for you guys on the uh, hurricane season. Um, but I just want to show you guys how warm these waters are. And now we're going back to the Atlantic just to kind of show you guys that there's still, it's definitely still likely that we're going to see some pretty good uh activity uh out here in the atlantic um but for now we've actually been having a pretty uh 
a pretty above average season because we've uh, already seen a lot of storms early. Usually we don't see these many storms you know, early in the season as we have we have to deal with that wind shear. We also have uh, cooler temperatures usually. Now we have higher temperatures, but we still have that wind shear um, in place. So, you know, it's 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 kind of it's kind of looking like that we will have a good shot at seeing an above average hurricane season. That tells you you want you're probably wondering why I'm saying that as we haven't had we've only had about five storms uh so far but that's just because you know it's not we're not at that point of the season where it gets it, you know everything ramps up well i mean we have we're gonna get a lot there's gonna be a lot less wind shear out here it's well and it's not exactly all gonna go away um it's just gonna get decreased in strength and it's really not gonna it's not gonna be nearly as intense as it is now but look at i mean all this wind shear right here look at all this all these lines, these, you know, wavy lines, this is all really, really strong wind shear attacking these uh, low-level, uh, lower-level uh, pieces of energy that are trying to get going. All these swirls out here are just, you know, the wind currents that are uh, also associated. Some of them are associated with, uh, you know, low-pressure centers that have been trying to get going. But, you know, for now... We'll continue watching every uh, wave that emerges off of the coast of Africa, and then eventually we'll see, you know, we'll track them and see what they'll do. But I really do think at some point we're going to get a pretty good hurricane, you know, if I if I had to say exactly where, I would say somewhere right in here, just north of uh, the DM, Dominican Republic, maybe even all the way up to Cuba and the Bahamas. Um, and that would really pose a threat to the East Coast, especially for the Southeast. I think if you're in the Carolinas, you guys will probably, I'm, I'm expecting, you know, this, if I had a marker, I would kind of circle, uh, Virginia, you know, the, the Virginia coast and the Carolina coast and obviously Florida and Georgia, but we're, we still, it's way too early to tell. We still have to figure out obviously when, you know, we get a concerning wave that really looks like it could get going and maybe we won't even get that we're hoping we don't because we don't want anybody to get hit by one of these you know major hurricanes obviously but you know we'll just have to see what happens but it's looking pretty possible that we could get at least one of those um and we go just up uh, you know uh, pretty much just above the uh you know top the noise parallel to the northern u.s and southern canada borderline we go up here this is where your temperatures really start declining um and you know it's 60 degrees out here it's very very uh cold i mean you're in the 50s 40s so whenever i'm just telling you guys that you know once you if you get a strong enough storm to scrape up against the east coast and then maybe impact parts of nova scotia um that kind of area it's probably not going to make it to uh, this part of Canada, you know, be just because of how cool these waters are. I mean, this yellow is 60, mid 60s. I mean, maybe if it gets up here and it's, it could hang on barely to, you know, tropical storm strength, but you go even into here and it's, you're back in the 50s. So it really, I think that the ridging and the, um, the wind shear is definitely going to get decreased in strength. It's not going to completely go away. But once that really, you know, once the ridging and the uh, wind shear out in the Atlantic starts slowing down, I think we're going to get a lot of room. The door is going to completely open for a bunch of these tiny, these tiny waves and systems to get going and soak in all that moisture and then just become these monster hurricanes. It's, it's looking pretty possible that that could happen. Um, but one last thing for you guys tonight, just want to show you guys the, uh, the latest 2023 Atlantic hurricane season outlook. Um, we are, you know, we're, we're pretty much at just about at that point where we're going to start seeing some, a lot more activity. Uh, I don't, this was as of May. I'm, I, I, I know AccuWeather just updated their, uh, hurricane outlook, but this is according to the National Hurricane Center and National Weather Service. So, for now, um, there, we're expecting 12 to 17 named storms, 
um, and five to nine hurricanes. So that's a pretty good majority of those named storms being hurricanes. We've only got one so far, which was Hurricane Dawn. Um, but we did have a storm uh, out in the North Atlantic that was in January, I, but uh, we, I don't think, I think it was subtropical or something, something happened that thrown, that threw uh, all these, you know, forecasters around that kind of, it, it, we couldn't exactly give a name, because um, it wasn't hurricane season, also it was in January. Um, but that was, that storm was uh, had seventy mile an hour winds, so that would be equivalent to a high end tropical storm. But we are expecting one to four, roughly one to four major hurricanes. I don't think we're gonna get up to four. I think we're gonna probably see one or two major hurricanes. There's, but there is a chance we'll see three. Um, and for now, uh, we have a forty percent chance of seeing a near normal uh, hurricane season, which is pretty much. I would say pretty much a 50-50 chance. Um, we got a 30% chance of seeing an above or normal hurricane season and a below normal hurricane season. So, you know, we'll, we'll see if this changes. This was as of May. You know, you can definitely go out to uh, just on Google and search up 2023 Atlantic Hurricane Season Outlook, and you'll, you'll find uh, updated versions of these. Um, but, you know, I think that this will, pr this will probably stay the same throughout the season unless we suddenly see a monstrous amount of storms, uh, you know, start forming out in the uh, Atlantic starting, like, you know, tomorrow, I guess you could say, or next week. Um, but regardless, we'll definitely continue watching this, uh, just the season in general, and we'll continue watching uh, all these waves, uh, the tropical waves that will go, that will emerge off the coast of Africa, and also off Central America. We still have to look out at the Pacific, because there are still some areas that could get hit out there. Um, and yeah, so it's going to be pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for coming to watch, and we'll see you guys in the next video. So continue watching the hurricane season once again, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.